Welcome back. Today we are reviewing an HON3 steam locomotive, something you don't see too much on this channel. This is the Blackstone model C19. Now we've got the Diamond Stack 280. It's a Russian iron steam locomotive. It's got some really cool colors to it. MSRP $499.95. It's packed with Tsunami Sound, and it has Tsunami Sound because, for those of you guys who don't know, Soundtrax owns Blackstone models. So, obviously, what better sound system to put in than your very own? And also, we're going to take a look at what you get for this uh, $499.95 MSRP. But keep in mind, MSRP is just kind of a marker. Don't let it scare you. I've seen some comments out there, oh, that's really high. There are discounts out there available and sometimes substantial discounts. So I'll always try to find discounts for you. Put the link below to discounted items I can find for you and places where you can buy those where these items are in stock. But for now, let's get started on the review of the C19 from Blackstone Models in the Diamond Stack Russian Iron Scheme. Here's the box from Blackstone. We'll go ahead and lift off the top here. You have inside a CD where you can get all of this paper documentation in digital format. You've got the Blackstone Models exploded parts diagram to order parts that you're missing or need. Voila, broken down by part number, so you can check that out. You've got the C19 operations manual. It'll go over how to lube the locomotive, take care of the locomotive, and service the locomotive in multiple ways, including motor bearing lubrication. Quick start guide. Tsunami Digital Decoder will tell you what functions to use. It's got an overview, which functions do what. F0 through F12 listed here in this guide, including CVs and working with DC. Then you've got the nice pamphlet here with the Denver Rio Grande C19, Rio Grande Western C19. Um, and you'll see all the details about the prototypes involved, including this locomotive that we'll be taking a look at right here. Got a 90 day warranty through Blackstone Models. You fill out this card, send it in, you'll be good to go. And then the model itself right here and upside down is the Russian iron. Wow, beautiful gold color popping out all those handrails. But let's go ahead and get it out of the case and do an unboxing after I get all this packaging out of our way. I'm gonna slide the plastic sleeve off here Pop the locomotive out of its container. Like so. Got some foam in between here, we'll get out of the way. And voila. Not very detailed view at this zoom out, so let's go ahead and reposition onto some track and take a look. So we're gonna point out some details that I notice on this locomotive, and we will move on after that. First thing I notice is the box style headlight. <clears throat> no Blackstone model C19s are the same because they go to so much detail for the different road names. Obviously, if you get the same road name, they're gonna be the same, but if you get different road names of the C19, you're gonna have a lot of different details, including the box style headlight here, like we just mentioned. You got the smoke box door with the gold handrails. You have the number board up in the front. But this one is uh, unnumbered, so obviously there'd be no number there. You've got the nice pilot detail. You've got the cow catcher, the coupler with a magnetic trip pin. You have the lead truck here. You've got the nice smoke box detail, smoke stack detail. You have the boiler and sand domes here that are nicely done. You have all the nice side rods, nice detail, running boards, and crew walkway access, all this piping, handrails going along the side, dynamo, and then the cab detail itself, which is similar to the other C19 locomotives. Again, you're not gonna see any cab number here because this is unnumbered, but it is painted model and finished in every other way. You do see the bell, the nice metallic bell detail, whistle detail and the cab roof vent um, that is up here. You've got the cab sunshade, which is nicely done, cab windows, grab irons all the way around that are separately applied, including this nice gold grab iron that really pops to your eye. I mean, it really looks nice. You have a deck plate in between. 
he's come out of the box already connected. Let me go ahead and change angles so you can see that better. The deck plate is adjustable up and down, but the deck plate basically joins the locomotive to the tender. Nice back head boiler detail inside that's really hard to see and hard to capture on film, but there's a lot of detail crammed into that cab. You've got a nice realistic coal load. You have that gold adorned side of the tender with the rivet detail running this way. You've got more gold handrails. You have these nice chains that are attached, safety chains there attached to the trucks here and here. Just you couldn't get or ask for any more details. I missed the coupler cut lever on the front, but you've got the coupler cut lever on the back as well. And another coupler with that magnetic trip pin. So I'm gonna actually remove this from the track and we're gonna take a look at a little bit of a 360 view. So now here. you have a nice view of the rear of the locomotive and tender. You see the nice crew access ladder, the coupler cut levers, the back deck plate, which is nice wood appearance, and all those safety chains on the other side, just as they were in the front. We can take a quick pass by of the locomotive on this side, including the throttle and all this nice detail along the boiler of the locomotive. So great detail overall. I can't say enough how much detail I'm surprised that they pack into this small locomotive and these small locomotives in the C19s and other variants of Blackstone models line of HON3 products. Let's go ahead and put this on the track and get some operation. So here's the locomotive powered on. You can hear some of the background sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlight. You heard a hiss there because I had some functions already activated here, but let's go ahead and turn on the headlight. You hear the dynamo fire up. You see that nice golden yellow LED headlight? Looks very prototypical, very nice. They really have nailed these headlights. Let's listen to some sounds, bell. Whistle. Let's go with the short whistle, F3. I'm gonna go ahead and do a grade crossing for you. Let's go ahead and move it. I've got it set to 28 speed steps, so I'm gonna go one here. stop. We're going to go reverse one. Get the reverser engage. Let's go two. Three. So we have a short stretch of track because this layout is under construction. I can't get a good loop going here. So I just wanted you to hear and see just a short version of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a run by at the end of the video that'll be up to a decent speed so you can see the locomotive get up to a decent speed and see it in operation. But overall the lower speeds is what you're concerned about because that's where you'll see any jerkiness and things like that in the drive. This is as smooth as butter, so we're good to go there. I have this set to ounces here, so we'll get this moving. So it topped out at 1.2 ounces of pull power, and you could also hear the chuffs at that full 28 speed steps while you're at it. So hopefully you got to enjoy that a bit. All right, let's go ahead and move on to weight. 
I've got this scale teared out. We're going to go to grams and we're going to put this locomotive down on here. 199 grams, 200 grams, it's gaining weight faster than I do at Christmas. 200 grams, 7.1 ounces, and 0 0.200 kilograms. So that gives you a good indication of the weight. Well guys, that wraps up the review of the Blackstone model C19, a 280 steam locomotive. This being the Russian iron version. Pretty cool, awesome scheme in my opinion, even though it's unnumbered. It's got a real nice color to it. Love those gold accents. Overall, smooth locomotive. It's a very nice sounding locomotive with the correct volumes out of the box in my opinion. So overall, MSRP $499.95 plus you can find those discounts out there. I'll try to search some discounts out for you to put them below. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to leave you with a walk, a run by, not a walk by, but a run by of this steam locomotive thrown together a little bit of scenery so you can see this in a run by. And we'll catch you next time right here on my channel. Take care.